fingers crossed. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll see. It uh, is the mirror, though, so you know it's, it, it can be explosive. I'm also very surprised very that Fujimura has been uh, committing to Ken. Like, I totally understand that he's been one to kind of uh, float amongst the top tiers. Uh, but I also thought, you know, perhaps Luke or Cammy would have been like uh, his go-to considering how he performed in Street Fighter V towards the end of the game, right? All of the things I said about Goichi definitely apply to Fujimura as well. So yeah. I think Chun-Li would be a very good pick for him in terms of, you know, getting the most out of a character when you have fantastic situational awareness, when you, are, when you have a mastery of the tools um, and you can just squeeze the most out of every situation. But he is here having a great time with Ken. There's so many of these Japanese players are. Now, as you had previously mentioned, it's going to be the Ken Mirror match. <coughs> for those just following along, this is now what the winner's side. Yeah, so this oh, will get them oh into top six. These are qualification oh, matches oh, for the main arena tomorrow. Big open air down below, the fourth horse going to be Apocalypse, one of them being Crouching Media came into the drive run. Leads to the situation, watch out for the... Oh, loops. A little reluctancy, I think. Yeah, I like that. You know, he's got a big life lead. He's got a big drive gauge lead as well. So he doesn't have to go in. Beautiful punish on the medium kick on block. Love that too. Amateur! Amateur! Not face style, how do you like it? Not understand. He wasn't ready for the DI! Oh, oh, and they're both baiting each other out. We were talking about that flow state earlier, right? Playing by his heart in comparison to somebody who plays it by the book. Yeah. Perfect carry, two in a row, but the ODDP straight through the fireball. Fujimura looking very comfortable again. Calls out the button press. That time after a stand fierce. Good the challenge. Same Oh, oh my jab. god, Fujimura Jesus. calling out everything! Optimal double lights! Let's go for the follow up, bro. Level 3 is on deck. If he launches it now, it's not gonna kill. That's fine, he's saving it for the big blow. Wait a minute, forward throw again. Huge life lead here. Break techno from Fujimura, yeah. Perfect parry into drive impact. What's it gonna be? Side switch back into the corner, spends no resources. Oh, oh my you lord! You had to see it coming. You had to see it coming. There is a significant gap between that into the Jinrai. And of course, it is Fujimura using Dragon Lash Super. Lights are neutral, very tense as Fujimura needs one more. Playing his spot. Now, I have seen uh, Angry Bird lose the mirror match before against the high level Japanese player. He lost it to Kido uh, in a team tournament with him, uh, just before the Red Bull I was quite surprised at how that matchup went. This is very similar, where he's just getting caught out, he's getting red quite a lot, but there we go. That time he does call out the throw bait. He calls out the wake up super as well. We've got corner carry with a life lead. Big drive gauge lead as well. He's in burnout. Jesus. And there is the wall splat. He's going to be able to get the kill here as well. Spends all of the drive gauge to do it without having to resource the super. Very impressive round from Angry Bird. Checks though with the stand jab. Great range on that. Okay, I like this. Getting started in the corner yet again. The roundhouse yeah. of the check. Fujimura becoming a little bit predictable with the parries, perhaps. Yeah. Oh my god, that trade combo was clean was as hell. So How was he ready for that? Clip that, please. We need that for research. Ah, oh, that's time to maybe cross her. Huh? Spin her up here on the Dragon Lash. You heard the flash of the parry as well. Huge for Angry Bird. Momentum wise, life lead. Nice. You could spend it all. He's going to cash out. He's got the level three. Here we go. You got it. Bringing the heat. Oh. Angry Bird coming right back to him. Fujimura, as you mentioned a little bit earlier, a little Ken bit predictable on his movements and his defensive options. I'm not going to lie, it's insane that this is first of two sets because this game runs so fast. These two games have gone by in a blink of an eye. It's incredible. You know? I mean, with full consideration, most of the time we have a top eight. Three, three out of five, right? Yeah. I'm going out this time around. I think all of top eight will still be three out of five. Right? Okay. The CPT rules. Okay. Nice. Confirms the medium kick. Oh, no. Doesn't he have a drive rush follow-up, though? That's it. 
Interesting. Man, what is happening in terms of momentum here? What is it about Angry Bird that, that makes it feel like Fujimura looks a little bit lost in the headlights? Flow state. And again, Angry Bird's got such great knowledge of this game, and he's so adept, uh, uh, sorry, adept at pulling out your, your patterns. Uh, yeah. We saw in that first game, you know, Fujimura was having fantastic success. So many different looks too to yeah. keep it ambiguous. He was having fantastic success with the parry, but now he can't react to any of the things that Angry Bird's trying to him. But he does get the side switch, and he goes for the DP with the knockdown, walks up the fist oh, with yes. punish into the punish counter, but the back throw that, gives Angry Bird the full screen to work with. Fujimura's yeah. trying to play out maybe what phase two of his offense, trying to catch maybe delayed buttons from Angry Bird, heads wide, a little bit hesitation for a counter. Yeah. But, but who knows? Like, oh, oh yeah. Side switch. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. It's a carry. I decide. Oh, oh no! Oh. Can't do much about that in burnout. Perhaps maybe a super, but it's still tough. And we got it anyway! And that's all the way, baby! Stay down. Sit down and shut up! Damn. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no,